Chain lift tills explained. Chain lift tills are an extremely common element found on many of the world's roller coasters. You'll often find them towards the start of the ride, dragging guests up to incredible heights. But what purpose do these elements serve? Lift tills are essentially the mechanism which gives a roller coaster its energy. As the trains of the ride climb the hill, they gain potential energy. Once riders plummet back towards the earth, this potential energy is converted into kinetic energy, causing the trains to accelerate. Located on the lift hill section, roughly in the centre of the track, is a chain. This metal chain is used to pull the trains of the ride up to their maximum heights. The chain itself runs in a small steel trough along the straight section of the track. As the chain reaches the top of the hill, it interacts with the gear wheel, causing it to return down to the base of the ascent. A large motor, usually found underneath the base of the lift hill, allows for the chain to move along the steel trough. To ensure each car can engage with the lift chain, the underside has been modified. A large piece of metal, often called a chain dog, can be found attached to the base of the car. As the train rolls onto the lift hill, the protruding chain dog slots into the gaps of the chain. This allows for the riders to be carried up the hill before plummeting towards the ground to start their roller coaster experience. As the trains crest the hill, the chain dog disengages from the chain. To ensure that the train will roll over the top of the ascent, the chain goes beyond the apex of the hill. At this point, the chain dog will disengage and the guests will begin to enjoy their ride. In the event that the chain stops moving, multiple fail-safes have been put in place to protect riders. Alongside the moving chain can be found a column of metal teeth, known as the anti-rollback device. Underneath the train, further metal pieces protrude onto the anti-rollback device. As the individual cars ascend the hill, the metal moves up and over the teeth. This movement is what produces the iconic clicking sound heard on roller coasters. In the event that the chain stops moving forwards, the cars will roll back onto the flat side of the teeth before coming to a stop. This prevents the entire train from accelerating back down the lift hill. On many roller coasters, the chain lift hill runs constantly. However, as the train begins to ascend the hill, the speed of the chain increases. Once the cars have disengaged, the chain returns to its idle speed. This is very different to an alternate lift hill method, the cable lift hill. This video is made in conjunction with Ride the Edge. Click the video on the left to learn more about cable lift hills or head over to his channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.